Now, with regards to the initial treatment, we are comfortable with somatostatin receptor uh, positive disease relying on somatostatin analogs. The confusion comes after, especially with the sequencing of it. We have Everlimus, PRRT, CAPTEM, and awaiting cabozetinib approval based off of cabinet study. Now, Pamela, please help us out. How do you dissect <laughs> this population? Yeah, this is complicated. I think that, you know, we are in a it's sort of the silver silver lining is that we are in an era where we have a lot of approved therapies for metastatic nets, yet we don't have high level evidence telling us what the optimal sequence is. We do have some clinical trials that are ongoing and in the works that are finally now comparing active agent to active agent. You know, it's only recently, and in fact, the cabinet study that you just mentioned was still a placebo controlled tra trial because at the time it was di um, designed, we still didn't have um, sort of standard and guideline-based therapies appropriate in that second and third line setting. So I think this really comes down to some of the factors we talked about earlier and really tailoring to the patient. I tell patients, um, I was in clinic all day yesterday, so I gave the spiel in clinic yesterday. Um, we have lots of tools in the toolbox. Um, that's the good news. And we really tailor each next step based on where the progression is, the pace of growth, and how you're doing, and, and other medical comorbidities. Um, a very standard approach that I'd say many of us have converged on is after progression on somatostatin analog, lutetium dotatate is often being used as a second line treatment. It's one of our most effective treatments. It has a median progression-free survival of about two and a half years. Um, in small intestine net, about a 20% shrinkage rate, and in pancreatic net, probably closer to 40%. So that's often a, a second-line treatment. Um, for pancreatic net, um, what's interesting is I think there's real equipoise between CAPTEM and lutetium dotatate as a second-line treatment, and especially for peanuts that... Um, for which you need tumor shrinkage. So if patient's really symptomatic, and there's actually an Alliance clinical trial studying those two head-to-head -head as a one-to-one -one randomization. So we will have information on that um, in the near future, hopefully.